Hello, dear Unbirls from TV viewers. This is our weekly program for the week 8 of April until 15 of April. Hunger strike in Berlin. In Berlin, four members of last generation are in hunger strike for more than 30 days. They have four demands which is concern the environment. They also use B vitamin and want to cut also taking water and etc. if the government does not fulfill their demands. Rally in France. On 6th of April, in La Maison, in front of the special prison where Georges Ibrahim Abdallah, anti-imperialist revolutionary communist militant, is in prison, more than 2,000 comrades demonstrate to demand the release of Georges. In prison for 40 years, he is the longest held prisoner in Europe to support the struggle of the Palestinian people against imperialism and Zionism. The demand for freedom for Georges Ibrahim Abdallah the support and defense of his identity as a revolutionary prisoner are always present within the popular demonstration support of Palestine in France. Also, on 4th of April, in Marseille, a protest held for Palestine and against NATO. Rally in front of the U.S. Consulate in Barcelona The rally in front of the U.S. Consulate in Barcelona followed a week-long call by the anti-imperialist front against the terrorist organization NATO. Despite the presence of the police and some attempts at intimidation, we were able to come together and shout that the 70 years of death, terror and wars are enough. Rally in front of US consulate in Amsterdam. On April 6th, a protest was held in front of the US embassy in Amsterdam upon the call of IF. In addition to the anti-imperialist front, revolutionary Enhide and Samidun also participated in the action. Anti-NATO protest in Austria. Austria, in front of Defense Ministry, action against NATO organized by PDA, also anti-imperialist front members joined this demo. Demonstrations in Athens and Larissa in Greece against 70 years of NATO at the U.S. Israel and the Israeli embassy. On April 4th, a protest was held in Athens. About 1,000 people participated in demo against the murderous imperialist organization of NATO. Also, on 30th of March in Larissa, a protest held it. Demonstration in Greece against Larissa Army Base, the commander of EU, for the attack to the Yemen people and resistance in Red Sea. NATO protests in Italy. One of the anti-NATO protests took place in Italy. In the event held in Milan, one of the two cities of Italy while exposing NATO as war machine, calls for solidarity with the Donbass and Palestinian people under imperialist blockade were made. The anti-NATO march in Napoli was attacked by police. Revolutionaries from Turkey continue the hunger strike resistance in seven different locations. Nuritin Kaya has left 169 days behind in his death fast, demanding the closure of SRY and well type prisons. Revolutionary prisoners in Bolu prison are also in an undefined hunger strike, demanding that Nuritin Kaya be brought too near to them. Oktay Kelebek and Jem Dursun have exceeded 40 days of their undefined hunger strike. They started demanding transfer to a prison that is not a well type prison. In Erzurum, Dumlo, higher security prison, Jamil Kurt and Alishan Gulz identified hunger strike demanding transfer to a non well type prison. It is at 30 days. In Turkey, the rotating hunger strike of Idil Cultural Center and Kropyrum workers demanding an end to the raids of the Idil Cultural Center and the ban of the concert has left behind 100 days. The identified hunger strike of 80 year old. Kemal Gün, a Tayyad member who was in prison while protesting for his daughter's freedom, reached seven days. The identified hunger strike of Lena Eleni Achigios in Germany demanding the abolition of the fascist 129 law and freedom for revolutionary prisoners in Germany has passed the 270th day. Balance sheet of six months in Palestine. In Gaza, where more than 33,000 Palestinians were killed from Israeli Zionist occupation forces. 
the resistance has continued from the 7th of October. Since 7th of October, 33,137 Palestinians, including at least 14,500 children and 9,560 women, have been killed and 75,815 people have been injured in Israeli murderous attacks on the Gaza Strip. It is estimated that there are still thousands of dead and wounded under the rubble. International Solidarity Call for Leonard Pertier Imprisoned for 48 years in the isolation cells of U.S. imperialism, Pertier's health conditions is getting worse and worse. In addition to the health problems caused by the torture of isolation, his right to treatment is also prevented. Pertier's vision loss is advanced. The authorities, as always, cling to the lie of the lack of authorization. Let's raise international solidarity for Pertier, freedom for all revolutionary prisoners. Ixan Cipelik, group your member, Andrew Ward Sejuri, Ixan Cipelik, a revolutionary artist and group your member imprisoned in Germany, Andrew Ward Sejuri. After 23 months of imprisonment, Ixan Cipelik's cancer treatment was prevented and his lawyers announced that the Andrew Ward Sejuri Exantibilis surgery took place on 18th of April. In order for his treatment to take place, revolutionary in Germany had to go on to hunger strike for hundreds of days. Dear Unbarrels Front TV viewers, this is our weekly program and now ended. Don't forget to follow us in our social media in Twitter, Telegram, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channel because follow us as an Unbarrels Front TV means that you follow the voice of the people of the world against the disinformation of imperialism. Thank you very much. See you in the next program.